Okay, so this is day one of my seven day insect diet. I'm gonna be trying insects for the very first time. Thanks to uh, Biobia, they have gifted me a week's worth of insects. Hopefully it's enough. There's the company there, look, Biobia. But yesterday I actually went up to Loughborough to interview the CEO of Biobia. And there he showed me all that he's doing at the moment, developing his company to try and sort of encourage this emerging market of uh, insect eating in the UK. But he's now gifted me all of these insects and I've now got to try a seven day insect diet challenge and see if I can integrate mealworms into, well, just eating every day into all my meals. I think is what I'll do is I'll just treat it almost like a, or a vegetarian diet, I guess, um, and then just add insects on top of that. Um, the point is I'm just gonna stop eating chicken and red meat and fish for the week and just try and eat only insects. Um, I'm going to be documenting the whole thing, seeing how I feel, seeing if I still have the same amount of energy. In here we've got all those mealworms. So what I'm going to be doing today is trying it for the very first time, seeing how it tastes, because I am a little bit anxious to be honest. I'm just going to see how it, see how it tastes and then try the protein powder afterwards, because what he's given, it, given me is not only he's given me the insects, but he's given me this stuff as well. So it looks like brown sugar, but it's got the same sort of like texture to it, I guess. But I haven't tried it yet, we'll see what that's like. So firstly, I'm gonna film my reaction as to trying mealworms for the very first time. And then I'm gonna go with the powder into my porridge. I think I'm gonna try and do porridge every day with the with the mealworm powder. I think that's probably the best bet. Maybe I'll try some some other stuff as well later on in the week and show you show you guys how that how that goes but generally i usually just have porridge for for the morning so i don't particularly want to change my diet too much to fit around the insects i think the point of the seven day diet would be to sort of integrate it like i would usually with any anything else so yeah let's try let's try these insects for the very first time okay so let's see if you can see this look at that Oh, it looks like they're moving. That's a horrible shot. I've got my insects. Look, can you see that there? I've got a few there. I'm just gonna see what they taste like. Tiny little insect. I'm just gonna try that for the first time. You can't hardly see it, but... Okay, we'll see how it tastes. Okay, so it's just, it's like crunchy. It's like, um, I don't know. It doesn't really taste of much, to be honest. It kind of tastes like um, like nuts or like seeds, maybe. Yeah, we really don't taste of anything, to be honest. They're kind of, well, I'm doing it, doing injustice, but it just kind of tastes like sunflower seeds or or nuts maybe. I don't I don't really think they'll change the taste in, in many of my meals. I think I think it'll be okay to just like sort of include this in all my meals. I, I doubt I'll really taste much difference. So I've now tried insects for the first time. That was alright. That was okay. That was uh, interesting. I think it went a lot easier than I thought it would. I thought it would be really I don't know, I thought it tastes so differently. But now it's time to uh, try the insect powder. I guess the insect powder will just be the same taste, nothing much different, just maybe just a bit grainier or something, I suppose. So every morning I usually have porridge, a bit of honey and a bit of fruit, whatever I have, probably like blueberries or banana or something. So to integrate the insect diet, I'm gonna put some insect powder in it today and see how that tastes. Maybe it'd be worth trying insect powder on its own, to be honest. But I want to see if I can. Uh, I want to see if I can easily have it every morning as part of my breakfast. That would be a good way of sort of like balancing out your protein intake during the day, especially if it looks just like sugar. I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. 
You see there, look, just kind of looks like sugar, doesn't it? It doesn't look very appetising, I know, I'm sorry about that. I think I might try a little bit of powder on the spoon first. But let's let's try the powder. That's definitely harder to eat. In a sort of grainy in a grainy powder that's definitely harder to eat. I think it's just a matter of mixing it up with the with the porridge, I think. Because it's quite dry, obviously. Let's try a bit of the powder, just sort of mixed in a bit more. Tastes fine. It's okay, it doesn't really taste any different. Again, it's pretty sort of anticlimactic, like like the last like the last little sort of clip of me eating insects for the first time. It doesn't really taste that different, it doesn't really change the taste of the porridge that much, which is good. Because I can easily have it with porridge every day, I think. Well, that'd be quite good. I think maybe it's just the the fact that mealworms in general, I think if you're trying sort of bigger insects, bigger bugs, like crickets or something, I think Maybe the taste would be a little bit stronger. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think something probably about mealworms are a little bit more, a little bit more approachable, a little bit more achievable to be able to eat in this challenge. Um, so sweet, I'm just gonna get on and eat my porridge then. So that was me for the first time trying mealworms. I'm now gonna go shopping, food shopping, and see if I can get. Maybe a bit more variety of vegetables than I usually would sort of bulk up the, the food um, to make up for the fact that I'm not eating the same quantity of meat that I usually would. So I'm going to go food shopping now, make some lunch and then, uh, then go to uni I think. Okay, so I've just gone and bought a load of vegetables. See my shopping bags in the background. I'm going to make myself some lunch with the full insects I think. I'm not going to bother with powder. Let's make some, uh, let's make some lunch, see what I did. I've now cooked a pasta for lunch. I had an early lunch today because I'm going to go to uni for lectures. Just a quick little pasta dish, a spicy tomato pasta dish. I'm gonna add these on top of my top of my spicy pasta. Um, but I'll show you, I'll show you the pasta now. Look. That's the pasta there. It doesn't look very nice, does it? They're pretty horrible. There's, there's so many insects in here. I've actually got to pour a lot of it out. It works out as a bag of that to try and have maybe yeah a third of this in here, which is actually quite a lot of millworms. Okay, when you pour in a lot, it does look pretty weird. It actually looks like a lot of them are moving, which is pretty horrible. Let's try a bit of the pasta. Actually, doesn't taste too bad. But to be honest, it just tastes like it just tastes like something you're eating something crunchy. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. it. Doesn't take away from the taste at all, really. Um, it's pretty easy to eat. Yeah, it seems okay to be honest. <laughs> 